Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here back under the hall under the mountain and uh, yeah we have to talk to Gandalf today and we're gonna basically go to Raven Hill I think it was and we need to get permission from Thorin's sister to open his tomb so that we can check the Arkenstone still there. I'm pretty sure that's what we had to do. Kind of forgot because I, uh, after the last episode, did go to Bree, as I said, completed some tasks, so we're on track with those. Uh, I don't know where it comes under any of this uh, stuff, but yeah. I started doing that because I thought, why not? It's very easy for me to just go into Chatwood, as I said, and just kill some stuff. I don't think it's there. Um, oh, maybe? Yeah, complete tasks. Five of 100, so yeah. I'll do that basically after every episode, so we have those. Uh, done slowly but surely gonna get the upgraded task limit five lottery points It's not really worth it But for the XP from the ones we do get to do it is worth it a little bit before we do uh, talk to Gandalf However, we do have our hobbit gift of the day and of the week So let's have a quick look at that I have a little bit of a clear inventory now as well. So that's kind of nice, but um, Let's open this up See what we get a decorated heritage rune of what we already have a stack of already, so it's not extra inventory space, and a massive pile of gold scraps. Three golds worth, so we can get rid of that very easily and uh, increase our total money, which we're doing pretty well, 426 uh, gold, because we don't really spend it all that often. So we need to find Dees, the sister of Thorin Oakenshield at Raven Hill. Um, She's very old and very unlikely at first to be very accommodating to our request. She'll look most favor she'll look more favorably upon it, I expect, if we were to see a familiar face of our Thorin's old friends and companions. But not as all at once. Such a crowd will set her ill at ease. She will not allow the intrusion. I think it might be a way I remind of an old trick that was used to me during the quest of Erebor when Smaug still lived, his stolen hoard out recovered. I will let the remaining dwarfs of Thorin's company know my plan for your part, speak to Dees, and be as friendly and as helpful as you can. We need to go to Raven Hill now. Where is that? Um, southwest of the Lonely Mountain. So that answers that. Then, uh, annoyingly, we can't get out of here. So I wonder if I can go. Uh, da, 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 da. Will it let me go to Northern Mirkwood? There it will. Uh, and let's put all these back on. So right there, that's actually not that far away. Um, obviously, once we leave here, we'll be at that spot. That's a little bit of a decent hike, but not too bad of a travel. So should be pretty easy. Okay, so uh, I decided to just skip ahead to being out here because it's, you know, basically an extra whole hallway's worth of travel. But let's make our way over there. Obviously, uh, we also have the chance if we want to use, uh, well, actually, I'm going to get on my warsteed first, but if we want to kill some enemies, and obviously, we ideally want to kill a few enemies just so we can get those tasks done. Right now, it is still recognition at the moment, so we are going to be getting double XP, which is good. Um, not to say that I'm going to level up, obviously, from it, but we can hopefully make quite a dent into here today. I've actually been using it as an excuse to um, go with my main and catch up with some of the um, quest I didn't do in between like you know Helm's Deep and Mordor uh, that I never did and I have actually through doing basically a massive amount of quests uh, and having recognition and double XP have leveled up actually uh, to 118 now so two levels away from getting to max um, and then I don't can't remember if it's going up again with the new expansion but hopefully we can get there before the new expansion and then I'm gonna try and not delay too much with uh, the next expansion and just get to where I need to do but at the same time I don't want to do much in the next expansion because I want to be have it like free for us to do it's gonna be weird it's supposed to be this the elderly sister of Thorin Oakenshield hello yes uh, has certainly you've been begun to speak about the Arkenstein, but before you can properly word the request, she interrupts you. The heart of the mountain it lies my brother Thorin beneath the mountain. I have not visited him in some time. The path down the hill is choked with the bushes and stones. Someone should do something. You offer to clear the path. She grunts non committally. Okay, so we're going to be, be nice, clear out the area, make it so maybe she can travel there. Maybe it's going to be like, hey, you want to go see him? You know, you haven't been in a little while. 
We want to go see him just to check that the Arkenstone is still there. And then she's also going to have a few of these people that, you know, these dwarves that are along with Thorin. Um, and then hopefully it's just going to make her a bit more accommodating to our request. Because it is a little bit weird if you go, you know, I want to see you. Uh, I want to go open up this, the coffin of your brother. You know, the king. That's a bit, a little bit weird. Is there one more bush that I haven't seen? That'd be another stone. Or brush, I guess, not bush. One somewhere up here I haven't seen. Ah, there it is. Found it. That's kind of decent, at least. I get the final one is just before traveling back. Right. Oh, we've got a few people. So Gloin and Waylin are here. Do I not have floaty names? I do, it's just a bit weird, being a bit weird. <sighs> Where the conversation has left me parched. Okay, um, so yeah, Gloin, do I learn to do the comments on the Blue Mountains? I'm well aware, I, I've been there. <laughs> I started there, basically. Uh, and Gloin asks the Emperor of the King under the mountain. The conversation has left me parched. If I'm to entertain visitors, I will need more water to refresh me. She gives you a meaningful look and you volunteer to bring some water from the well at the base of the hill. Okay. So, I think it's a case of we're going to slowly do things for her, and then slowly the um, rest of the dwarves are going to show up, and we're just going to have that kind of gradual increase. Um, and then she's going to be a lot more accommodating, and then maybe we even one of the dwarves suggests it instead of us as like an outsider from her point of view. Just to make it a little bit, you know, not like we're trying to take advantage of her. Which we aren't really. We're just kind of trying to look out for it. And the king even agrees us with us, so. Or has a similar thought. But we just want to do it. Do it right. Because if we really, really wanted to, we could just go there and check it now. But this is the correct thing to do, you know. I feel like we are going to basically have no <laughs> kills today. So, set down the back of water as more dwarves come up the hill. So, oh, we can't even. You've just been. Oh, so Bombo, young dwarf, young dwarf. Uh, Gloin, Burfa, Bofa. This is a day for visitors. The Feather Keeper of Hammers, Bofa, the Master of chis Chisels, have come to Ro Ravenhill. Even Bombo, the Warden of the Ladders, has paid me a visit most unexpected. These dwarves are coming to my brother and my sons. On the quest of Erebor, this is a good as an op seems as good an opening as any, and you may uh, you ask again about the Arkstone as before. She interrupts you. Bombus Prozo up the hill was slow, and you told me I spied a number of foes in Sintu Dale during the ascent. I cannot think about the heart of the matter while my neighbours are in danger. She raises eyes to you and challenge you to volunteer to do all the foes that lurk around Dale. Okay, so we got killed ten enemies. God, these ravens are annoying. <laughs> uh, and then we just need to kill a couple of enemies. Hopefully, very very quick. Uh, it looks to be pretty much anything around, so even some of the wildlife around here. But if we can get a few humanoid enemies, that would be nice because... Or even, I guess, even just wolves and stuff. We just need something that is going to potentially drop task items. That is our preferred thing. These will drop, like, pelts and stuff, or furs and stuff. Um, I mean, it will also technically help. I'm, I don't know what... It wouldn't be annoyed, it would be Doomfold, I'm guessing, at this point. I don't know if it's just called Doomfold Fur. Doomfold Hide, rather. It literally is. That's fine. Uh, a Mountain Great Bat. But yeah, Bristled Fur. Didn't give that in for tasks. I wonder what else this will give us. I mean, again, if we, it's a case, though, if we kill, like, one bat and then kill everything else is just going to give us uh, furs. If I have to kill one more thing to get a task completed, I will happily do that. Ideally, in every region, we just want to keep a couple of inventory, uh, inventory slots open just for all of the stuff that can be dropped, just so we can basically stack it. But I don't really know if I have the inventory space for that. I mean, I can get rid of a decent chunk of things, I think. 
should probably not kill the brown bears. They're a little bit annoying. Um, but yeah, I can probably get away with it if I get rid of a few things here and there. I can actually now trade over my food, um, my, one, my 115 food for my main. So if I make... Do you count? You do. Um, if I make the 116 food for my main, I can transfer all, all of my uh, 115 food that I had for my main over to me. So it's already pre-made. The only annoying thing is stuff like this. I'm going to have to keep the super, uh, the feasts and stuff. Probably just keep the superior feasts because the other stuff isn't amazingly great. But um, yeah, we can transfer that over. The fortifying food, as I said, isn't great. So we'll just, as I said, keep those, get rid of these, maybe even sell them off or something. Um, but the seven star stews will be outclassed now with the upgraded stuff. So. Um, and then as soon as we hit 116, we can just get myself some 116 stuff. It shouldn't be too bad. And again, I should have some of that easily crafted up already. And I won't use it that often uh, on my main. So we can use that to our advantage. Um, there we go. I'm going to stay away from the, um, the bears. They just have a little too much more morale than I'm happy to deal with. But the good thing about these is they are dropping multiples. So uh, the the wolves themselves are dropping two bristled furs, which is good. And a stony skin as well, which could be another task item. Whatever we can use. So I think with this, the way this quest is going, I'll probably only end up doing the one. But you can see with the double XP, it's a massive amount of XP we are getting from this stuff. So I'll see if I'm able to get another episode done with uh, recognition on. I should be able to get possibly at least two more episodes in. And that puts myself a little bit ahead, ahead of schedule as well, which will be useful for us. Um, because then everything can just make sure it comes out on time. And I won't sort of be rushing for episodes, so episodes in theory can be longer then. Um, not by a massive amount, but like a decent chunk longer. Oh, we're getting quite a few same skins as well. I will probably just kill a few more enemies just for XP, but just to get as well to 10 on both of these. I can get these both to 10 and give those in as well with the double XP and it being on level stuff basically. Um, I think it should be pretty good. So that yeah, still dropping stone skins. We've got quite a few Doomhold hides. Obviously it takes quite a lot to uh you know get to mastery for that, but if we can slowly get that stuff. We can also get it from chests and stuff as well. So the main one will be wood as well we need to make sure we try and get I don't want to kill a battle cat. Yeah, they've got 100,000 morale. Right, I think I'll make my way back up. And then finish this quest. Maybe do one more quest after this. I'll see where we can get to with it. Um, kill a couple more enemies. Just so we can get, obviously, 10 stony skins and 10 bristled hides. And give those back. I mean, it, it's one of those things where, again, I've said recently. I'd rather do tasks with it, but if we weren't. I mean, eight eight items making 110 silver. Like both of those together is like, you know, 10 of each, let's say. That's going to be a you know, quarter of a gold. Plus some of these extra things chucked in, you know. Get a, pick up a few chests and stuff around. Oh, Gandalf is here as well. More friends have arrived. And the wizard too. Uh, as friends, I count Dor uh, Dory, the High Horde Seeker, and Nori, the Keeper of Coffers. They are my distant kin. With the Wizard Gandalf, I have fewer kind words to speak. Um, you need to brace yourself for another task. There's nothing else that needs doing right now, and I think. You, but do you not think I'm unaware of your plan of yours? I have so few visitors on most days that the slow trickle of friends and kin must mean something. You might uh, tell me. What do the surviving members of my brother's adventuring band ask of his sister? I don't want to hear you from you, wizard. I want the elf to tell me. Well, spit it out, elf. I do not have much patience for elves, but I have even less for wizards. I wonder what happens if we're a dwarf. 
You think the heart of the mountain has been stolen from my brother's tomb? Yes. A uh, what thief would just uh, just dare disturb the oaken trail's rest, rest or risk the guards of his tomb? No, do not try to convince me of this. There's no need. I tell the British wizard he has permission, but not to go alone. We will all go together. So grant the lecture emote. Interesting. Um, well, it's not called grant the lecture. It's the lecture emote, so we can use that at the end. We also get a new cloak, which, as you can see, just from the armor, is quite a bit better. Obviously, we're still using a level 100 uh, cloak. So let's have a quick look at what we will want. Probably this as well. It gives us Light of Arendelle. Um, but agility, vitality, critical rating, Light of Arendelle, and physical mastery. I wonder if there's anything else. Um... There's another one which is agility, vitality, bait, critical rating, and evader. I think the first one is what we will go for. It almost looks like there's one for each class, just because I'm reading into it because this is Light Cloak of Bard's Will. But I think Fantastic Silk Cloak of Than Thranduil's Power. So agility, vitality, by quite a chunk. Uh, critical rating, physical mastery. We lose the fate. But we do get the Light of Aridol and quite a lot more morale. So I think it's going to be worth it. I do want to just check again that there's nothing that gives me fate as well. And it's got an essence slot. So I guess we can always essence in some fate. So anyway. Let's, uh, I guess we'll go do this quest then. And then we'll finish off for the day after that. We so that's quite a nice cloak that we want to get. This is Mazel Akraz, the Chamber of Glory. My brother and my sons lie within. Let us go now to them. Okay, so this instance is called Wood, Lake, Mountain, and Stone. So let's talk to Gandalf. It seemed appropriate for Deez to go ahead and the rest of us to follow on behind. Her brother Thorin and her sons Philly and Keely lie entombed here. And while our purpose here is in one of important I do not wish to work any disrespect upon the fallen. I'll meet you at the bottom. Keep watch upon your footing. So I feel like we won't have any enemies to kill here. So we still will need to go and... Um, what are these guys going to say? Um, yeah. We'll still uh, go and... Um, kill those extra enemies. Just to get that task done. Because we want to make use as much of this as we can. I mean, these give us 500k uh, XP per quest because it's like 250k normally uh, so we are going to probably end up if we complete this one 200, like 400, 500k it's like 300k more we'll make a decent chunk into it but again we want to that's four quests or that's two quests worth just from that so it's technically four times XP because normally it's double XP on top of double XP so let us see what there is to see Let's have a look, shall we? Hmm. The real Arkenstone. Trying to get a good look at it. Right. Anyway. Um. Was the guess not the same as others? And I guess uh, is this guess of a wizard was the loss of the dwarf rings might be to blame for the decay. The ring Angiam, called Handorm by the dwarves, was taken. For from Thorian by Sauron and must have perished in the fall of Barad-dur. Hmm.
I have a feeling we're totally going to get attacked soon. There has to be, it could be the ring. Hmm. Oh, we're going to be here a while. Look at that quest. I'll be honest, I do really hope we're not here for 18 minutes. In fact... Oh, it doesn't look that... Oh, that looks lovely. I've had a thought. You've had a thought. At least some of you had a thought. Thank you. <laughs> Um, these necklaces cause so much trouble between the handle and the wood and the drawers of the mountain of my all my many mains which I wear in the north was not the first even that okay wood lake mountain stone each has their own words and even when they speak of the same thing they might find it in something um, what if the artifact of what we seek the book tradition never existed at all since the journey began neither friend nor foe have learned aught of it and if something this valley can be found what the Ugra calls seeks an artifact that never was words can be mean different things in different contexts. And even a small change can greatly affect the words meeting. Can it be that Ugrako does not look for that which we assumed? It means name keeper and brings to mind a relic or an artifact. What if there was has been a mistake? What if the word was misheard? What if the word spoken was not book tish but book dash? And what does that mean in black speech? So he wants his true name. If Ukrako believes this knowledge can help him, it falls on us to learn why. So now let us leave Thorin and his nephews in peace and we will discuss this above. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, so let's talk to Thorin Three. I am satisfied by your report. Um, Alcanzo is still safe from Thorin, but if the mountain, there's no end of the mystery of Kazagar. Karazgar. I'm saying that completely wrong. As if his ilk seek to uh, yeah, if his ilk seek to work upon my hands and my people, but the heart of the mountain remains beyond his reach. And less pleased by Gaz's super uh, supposition. Yeah. Uh, that loss of the Dwarf King, a hand has caused the diminishment of our craft skill. For such a loss cannot be reversed. That ring has gone, others, along with the others which we held a claim, and none of them are coming back. It's not, it's not our way to give up hope, and our artisans will continue to strive, but I mourn the great works that once we, once were made, and will have no rivals. Okay, let's talk to Gandalf. 
This feels right to me. Choose our new cloak. King Thorin has given me a room in the dwelling halls of Erebor. Okay, find a home of Orthi gem cutter in the dwelling halls. That is not what we're going to do for now, though. We are going to go. We have new mail. Uh, I must be thanking. I begin by thanking you for the acts of friendship and heroism you performed during the Lone Mountain. The gusts of war have sat on flesh, metal, and stone are being melded as they may. Uh, all is not peaceful or quiet among my court. I must beg you of, to visit me when you're able, where I can unfold to you the nature of our newest troubles. Okay. King Thorin Stonehelm. So that looks like I might have a. No, be completed. Accept a letter from King Thorin Stonehelm. I miss it from Erebor. So we need to go talk to him at some point, it seems. But for now, we are going to go quickly kill some more enemies. Also, looking forward to this uh, new armor, uh, new things. Actually, I think epic battles are probably better for jewelry. Like, I'll be honest, if it had Light of Arendelle, it might be better. But looking at it in comparison to what we have right now, um, yes, that's more agility, more vitality. However, we lose the fate, which is quite a decent amount of fate, and also the max morale and the critical rating. Um, critical rating I'm not as fussed about, but the max morale loss isn't great. I think it'll be better to get a uh, new epic battle one, uh, which I'm going to probably do when I get a chance, like while uh, you know, while a video is uploading or something like that, I'll just go and do an epic battle. So it roughly takes the same amount of time, depending on how long the video is. Um, but yeah, do that. Hopefully, get a decent like reward out of it. Obviously, with the XP uh, disabler on, it should be good. Okay, so we got one of those. I do not want to go anywhere near you. Now we want to go kill something. That are you? Are you gonna give me this stone skin? Stony skins I need. We got the bristle fur, that's fine. Oh, we should really use this new cloak we have, actually. <laughs> and I know I was talking about, like, oh, this new necklace doesn't have fate, but nobody does this. But we basically, like, double our agility, so it's definitely worth it. And also Light of Herondel, again. It's a big thing. I thought I'd actually killed it, so I was really confused. Uh, so let's use that. So uh, I'm going to leave that uh, and I'll, we'll do it while we're a little bit safer. And then we've also got this new cloak, which um, looks pretty cool. I mean, this is for comparison. Obviously, it looks quite nice for what we've got now, but that's pretty damn cool. I do like that um, look of that one. Um, that's even something I'd use cosmetically if it wasn't, you know, so different from my uh, current thing. So let's put that on 49672 and finally we're at over 50k morale. I'm going to just put that locked just because I don't want to get rid of it just yet. Let's give in these so we can hopefully use up the remaining bonus XP or at least a decent chunk of it. So we have uh, bristled furs and stony skins. Bristled furs. Finish that one. So that's 164k. And stony skins. Do we not have stony skins to give in? That's all good. Um, where else did have a task area? Let's go to Dale. Let's see how that goes. All right. Luckily, this uh, stone master is pretty much right next to the task. Um, rest is scavengers, bristle furs, petrified branches, deadly claws, spiny. Houses. Uh, now oh, that's weird. Last ditch attempt. I am going to go to my house and see if I can do anything there. Right, so in theory this will work. Hopefully. Stony skins. Yeah, Gorgoroth task. Okay. So yeah, this is quite nice if you ever want to do tasks. It just have them per 10 level basis. Kind of nice. Uh, so we'll give that in. Probably not as much XP, though I think it's also due to the uh, bonus XP running out. But 164k, 161k, still pretty decent. Now let's have a final look at this lecture.
Okay, <laughs> that'll be fun to use at some point, I'm sure. Um, but yes, that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. I've also just realized we've gone over just 100 million XP total, which is insane amount of XP there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.